drop Sophie off at school. We just got home, and then we stopped at the Dollar Tree, and I got all of this Easter stuff. I got a ton, a ton of stuff, and a bunch of like foil and pans, and plates and napkins and stuff for Sophie's party tomorrow. So I'm gonna make orange cupcakes, blue cupcakes, and green cupcakes, and then I have orange. I'm going to make orange icing and pink icing. Um, and then I have Easter sprinkles. And then I'm also going to make blue, green, and purple jello. And I'm going to use my silicone molds. I have little bunnies, flowers, and Easter eggs. So I'll show you what that looks like when I start that process. But that is what I'm doing right now. And yeah, so now that my water is boiling, I'm going to take that out and add my um, blue fruit punch flavored jello to the mix. Alright, so I added my, um, so you do one cup of boiling water with the mix, and then after you mix it, you add a cup of cold water, so I already did that. I've got my water set up on high to start the next batch, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do um, part of these colors here, and then I'll, you know, do the blue, I mean the purple, and then the green. So I do two each of these big ones. And then there's like two, four, and then I'll do two rows of these little bunny guys here. Do some of these flower guys. This is what I have so far. So that is the fruit punch, that is the grape. Then I have fruit punch, grape, fruit punch, grape. Now I'm currently working on the watermelon, so these ones will be green. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and pour my water in. Give her a good stir, and then once it's completely dissolved, then I'll add my cold water. Now I'm making the green cake mix. So, oh, let me give y'all a little tip. So if you don't have a flat surface in your refrigerator, um, I had to put my silicone molds, if you're not just, you know, making jello in a bowl or whatever, I had to put my molds on these pans. So just a little tip ahead of time, put your mold on the pan first because it was difficult to pick them up without like wiggling them and they were kind of spilling all over the place and mixing and I didn't want the flavors to mix but I mean it was so subtle that you probably won't notice a huge difference but that's just a little tip um, that I have is to you know put your put your molds on the pan first. Why is this fucking thing shut? 
yeah, that's just my little tip. So I'm going to finish this green cake mix. And then I have um, my liners that I bought are these really cute Easter patterns. And then they came with, well, I got another one too. These ones are just stripes and they have like little chickies on them. But they both came with little picks to put in them. So a yellow pick and a blue pick. So I'm cooling off the green and the blue. I pull out different sprinkles. I have this blue raspberry and they have little fish on them. And then I have pink sugar. And then these are Easter sprinkles. They're green with little eggs. And then this is just some leftover sprinkles that I have that I might use. There's like little flowers and hearts and random colors. So that's that. I have three more to put in the oven, and I currently have blue and orange ones in there. So, gotta finish that. And my jello, a um, couple more hours, and it should be pretty firm. And then I'll take them out of the little silicone molds and put them on a tray. So, these ones are cooling down. These ones are already cold, so I'm gonna put some pink frosting on some of them. And then I'll put the little picks and some sprinkles. I'm not going to sprinkle all of them because I know I personally don't like sprinkles on my cupcakes. So I'm not going to put sprinkles on all of the cupcakes. But majority of them will have sprinkles because I know they're for the kids. So I'll show you what they look like when everything is done. By the way, I wanted to mention really quick, I bought these cupcake holders at the Dollar Tree. So they hold nine cupcakes and they're only a dollar. And that's what they look like right here. I did a haul, um, a Dollar Tree haul, so I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, they have deviled egg ones, they have um, ones for like round cakes, square cakes. I mean, they're not the best quality, but they work, and I like them. And everybody compliments me on how, you know, cute they are, and they're surprised that they came from the dollar store. So there's the cupcakes, I just finished them. I didn't put the pics in them yet. I'll put those in in just a little bit, but that is that. Okay, now I'm gonna make these pre-cut um, bunny-shaped sugar cookies, and then I will decorate them. I have some googly eyes and some different icing um, that I'm gonna use. I just bought pre-bought icing because I didn't really feel like making my own. So once these are done, I'll. Um, show you what they look like. They're gonna be so cute. So here's the cookies. These ones I just pulled out. These ones are cooled down. So I wish there was a gap, but that's okay. In between the ears. It's no biggie. Kids will like them anyway, especially after I decorate them. They'll be really cute. Okay, so I'm finally done. This is what the cookies look like. Aren't they cute? I just used um, the icing. This one busted, so I'm going to have to trash this. And then I used little candy eyeballs, some pastel Easter M&Ms, and then I put some of the frosting in these little sandwich bags and then just cut the snip, I mean cut the snip, snipped off the end to make like a um, decorating bag. And then I have this one, and this is like a pink glitter um, frosting. And that's that. So, Easter goodies are all done and ready to go for tomorrow. Hey guys. Or huh? what? Is it closed up there? We're on our way to the airport. Jarek is going to Maryland for spring break, so he'll be gone for nine days. So, we're on our way um, to drop him off at the airport. Say hey, Sof. I did a first impression on the mascara that I'm wearing today. It's the CoverGirl Cover Girl Super Sizer. I like it. It's really soft. Um, it is lengthening. I had to put two coats on to get it a little volumized, but I do like the formula. I do like the brush. So make sure you check that out. It looks like it's going to rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we'll see. 
I'm wearing this lip gloss that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I like it a lot. It's by um, Model Co, I believe. And I'm using my Naked on the Run palette and my Stila Wonderful and Waikiki palette. So I kind of combined um, those two palettes and incorporated shadows from both palettes. But um, yeah, so that's the plan. It's a little um, chilly in the van right now. It's cold. It's supposed to be chilly this weekend, like in the 60s. So perfect weather. They're going to open that up. Gonna make it extend the road probably all the way to Pecan Park. Mm -hmm. So we're almost to the parking garage at the airport. What are y'all doing for Easter? Leave it in the comment section. And let me know what you're doing for Easter. I don't think we're gonna do anything. We usually go to church, but I don't think we're gonna go to church this year. Jerry. Sophie, what are you watching? Huh? Pony? Oh no, Barbie? Do you like it? Huh? We're currently at the airport waiting for Jared to board his flight. I gotta get some water, I'm so thirsty. Waiting for Jared to board his flight and then, um, Thirsty. Might get a coffee from Starbucks. I don't know. I'm debating. I'm debating whether or not I want to. It's not as crowded as in, in here as it usually is. I, I I came to Florida. I mean, I came to Florida. I came to Starbucks. Sorry, I was reading this. <laughs> this is Florida, Miami. <laughs> That's it, I came to Florida. I came to Starbucks to grab me a, a frappuccino, I got a caramel frappuccino. Looking at some of these snacks, they have twice baked pretzel sticks. This is garlic and herb chipotle barbecue. And they have gummy pandas, oh that looks good. Blackberry hibiscus, yum. Petite French madeleine. Waiting on my Starbucks drink. While we wait for Jerry's flight. <clears throat> Ready to go. Yum. 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 Caramel frappuccino. It's about to get in my belly. I always feel weird when I get on this thing. It's like a, it's like a, what do you call this thing? I don't know. Speed walker. Speedway. I call it the speedway. Oh, his plane arrived. But the people have to unboard and then he will be able to board the plane. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just waiting for him to board while everybody looks at me like I'm a crazy person. Bye! We're still waiting, but he should be boarding his flight probably within the next 10 minutes or so. He's in C group. They just called for A, so you know how that goes. Um, it looks like it's going to rain. It's so cloudy outside. I don't know what the percentage of uh, like the chance of rain is, but it looks like it's going to pour down. Thankfully, they'll be above the clouds, and they won't have to deal with that, but... Just ready to go home. This child right here. Another lake. Huh? Another lake. Lake? Late. Late? What time is it? Seven o'clock. I said boarding time seven o'clock. I don't know. Maybe because the weather's been kind of shitty. But I'm excited to go to Gator Nationals this weekend. We're going on Sunday and it's supposed to be like clear skies, no rain at all. 
and I've never been to a drag race, so I'm really excited. Okay, they're boarding A right now, Jerry. As soon as B, B boards will go, they're on that side. I don't like to sit in the actual area um, at the gate because it's always so crowded. I like to wait outside the security for as long as possible just because there's not that many people. And they have like rocking chairs and stuff like that too. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Bob. Give your, give your sister a hug. You can't go, sissy. Come on, you'll see him when he comes back. Come on, tell him bye. There's Bubba's flight. There's his airplane. Which one? Right here. This one. Real. This one right here in front of us. In the white? Mm -hmm. Look, there's one in the sky coming in, way over there. Once again, for those passengers on flight number 1818 to Baltimore. Your flight is already boarded here at C2. Okay. Bye, airplane. Mark, Bora, Come on. Jabai. Hi. We're at the car wash getting the van washed so we could be clean on the road tomorrow, right, Sophie? What you got? Show us what you got. What you got? Let me see. It is M&M Rice Krispie Treat, as if you need more candy. She's getting a bath. She'll be nice and clean and smelling good for our road trip. It's about an hour drive to Gainesville where we're going tomorrow, so um, yeah, it's about an hour drive. We are leaving at 6.30 in the morning, bright and early. Ain't that right, sis? Huh? <laughs> So we just got home um, from the car wash. The guy cleaned my car. They were actually closing up. As you could see um, in the previous clip, it was getting really, really dark. But um, I've been going to that car wash for years. I think I was pregnant with Sophie the first time that I went there. So he's been cleaning my cars for six years now. Um, but we're going to get ready to um, get all of our stuff together for tomorrow. Um, I have to clean off those earmuffs, and I think I'm going to use my fanny pack, um, that I got from Victoria's Secret, and I'm going to show you, oh, goodness, I'm going to show you, um, really quick, so, in the haul, this is all that I showed was the fanny pack, I thought there was, like, some sort of pillow pack in there just to kind of fluff, fluff it out, but actually, if I can open it with one hand, hang on. Actually, on the inside, there is a water bottle koozie. Um, I'm going to guess it's for a water bottle because I would not see myself using a can. Um, but anyway, it has this neck strap. <laughs> it has this neck strap so you can wear it. What did I just step on? Oh. So you can wear it um, like this. So I don't think I would wear a can beverage in here just because when you're walking it would probably splash around but I do however see myself using it to put a water bottle in here so yeah it's really cute it just says pink it says we run this beach <laughs> we run this beach but anyway um, I'm gonna clean off the earmuffs and start getting our things together for tomorrow but yeah I think I'm gonna wear my fanny pack tomorrow just because it's an outdoor event we're gonna be doing a lot of walking I don't want to have to carry a bag of any kind even if it's a crossbody I'd rather have you know freedom to swing however I need to especially since I'm gonna be holding Sophie in a very crowded um, type of event kind of like the Monster Jam but I've never been to um, Gator Nationals and for those of you that don't know what it is, uh, it's a drag race. 
So it's like car racing type of thing. I don't know how to explain it. But, um, and I've never been, so I don't know what to expect. So I'd rather have hands-free. And with my fanny pack, I could carry a small wallet and my phone, uh, my camera, and whatever else I need to put in there, my car keys, whatever. So um, this should be interesting, um, to say the least. I will be picking up my brother at 6.30 in the morning. I'll be picking up my mom at 7, and then we'll be headed to Gainesville from there. So I'm expecting to arrive no later than 8.30. Um, we do have to make a couple of stops in between, so, yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to call it a night and just go ahead and go to bed. So, I will vlog tomorrow, but it'll probably be in, an, in a vlog in itself. So, um, I will link it down below. Obviously, it will be published after this vlog goes up. But when it is live, I will link it down below so you can check it out. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. You all are the shit. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you will not miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now. Mwah. Good night.